This is Jesus Morales's granite weaving from 1988. And Jesus Morales is originally from Texas and he has traveled uh, worldwide. He's a sculptor and his work, like many other artists uh, working since the late 1960s, was interested in using uh, materials drawn directly from the earth. He was influenced by minimalism, but also land art that used materials forged from the earth itself. In the 1980s, he created a larger body of work that he called weavings, where he cut and assembled various pieces of granite, which is the stone that he primarily works with, to give the appearance of the different vertical and horizontal registers of a weaving. In this case, he has put together large vertical slabs of granite and also horizontal slabs that are interrupted by little uh, square pegs that we see in, in between these. Um, he was interested in letting the material itself and its history speak for itself. He often works in two modes. He often works with a saw to cut granite, uh, but at other times, he leaves the material in its natural state. And you see a combination of these two different types of textures throughout um, the sculpture. Uh, the sculpture itself sort of resembles a weaving in a way because of its verticality and its horizontal registers, but it also gives the impression of, of a pyramid, of a step pyramid. Morales forms part of a larger generation of Mexican-American and Chicano artists that were interested in Native American culture. And this work, which evokes ancient architecture from Mexico, participates in a larger history of Chicano indigenism. But Morales will tell you that his work is very international. He's traveled throughout the world, and he was very much influenced by the ancient art that he uh, experienced in these, in, these, in these other countries. And his work blends references to various uh, world cultures. It represents the different ways in which Latino artists have inflected um, movements of American art. Um, in this case, he's interested in exploring how Earth, how the Earth itself, can allude to ancient history.